the IE showdown. Indeed, all right, well, here's the rock, paper, scissors to lead us in. Let's see what those players pick. I'll tell you what, I'm so nervous because I'm apparently supposed to be commentating uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Yo, but honey. Know, yeah, but I don't know who they're putting me on with, so I'm just like, dang. I'm shaking in my boots. Just go up there and have a good time, man. That's, the thing. that's, all, that's all that matters, man. Yeah. That's all, that's all that matters here in the game of life and the game of Smash. Have a good time. Learn from your mistakes. Always, yeah. always look back at what you could have done better. Always look for improvement. All right, so what characters do we have coming up? We got some more Link action. Of course, oh, Ty. Ty. We saw him earlier versus Nate Dog on the Ganondorf. Oh, Nate Dog. I was like, Nate Dog. Hold on, man. This, this guy is not a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'd give him more credit if he was the real Nate Dog, but he's not a rapper. Oh, so, so it's Nat? Nat, Nat Dog. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know how to pronounce it. It's Nat, Nat, Nat Dog, though. You know, great rapper. <laughs> uh, nonetheless, up air, man. <laughs> Watch the recovery here, Ty. We did. I did see this matchup a long while back. <coughs> oh no, bomb recovery. No, you went for the double jump. And you should have released the bomb earlier. Yeah, I know that can get a little tricky if uh, you can't be like drifting yeah. when you do the bomb recovery. You got to be falling like straight down. All right, let's see the gentleman reset here for it. Dang, all right. Nat Dog being the homie, man, you could have just took that. Yeah, I would have been. I, I would have been like, nah, man, what? But I, th I think they came to agreement, like something must have happened with both players' controllers for sure. Uh, I did see this matchup play uh, back at Frosty Faustings where Rin uh, beat out Rickles in one of his quarters, Link versus Ganon. It's, it, it is in Link's favor, but one thing to respect is your boomerang play and your bomb play. The thing about boomerang for Link is you commit so much to the startup and the end leg of boomerang right. that you have to keep in mind where Ganon is at all times. You kind of want to only use boomerang at the range rather than as close as possible. You can point blank boomerang to a lot of combo percents, which really matter, and they work against boomerang. The problem is that when you have to get in close, a lot of Link mains are working, especially T, uh, French Tutor is another Link main, Arrow myself included, are working on trying to be reverse boomerang to make sure you get that up close and then you get the combo and then you can be reverse and then you get a point blank boomerang and a point blank boomerang and a forward air and that can cut the ledge. Nice. So, yeah, it's it's got some it's got some stuff. So for Link he wants to make sure he's got the space because that's where Ganon seems to suffer. Yeah, just keep this monstrosity away. Ganondorf, a character that uh very much so better than he was in Smash 4. His character those, the sword smash attacks are absolutely insane, and just the damage output this character has is bonkers. I like it. I like it. Ty goes for the high recovery. Ganons love it when you go low. They got the dare, they got the up air, they got neutral air. So make sure you mix up your recovery here. Watch. Watch the get up. Forward air. Good opportunity. Jab on the shield. Oh, the up smash was lurking here for uh, Nat Dog, but not going to connect here. Ty going to swat him out before it goes off. And the up, you out of shield. Almost does it, but the directional air dodge coming out from Nat Dog. The one thing that I did see Ty get a little bit comfortable with in this Magic Band's core is just tossing bomb and blowing it up. Sometimes it's much better to go for the ledge play, set it up at the ledge, set up the bounce, so if they do neutral get up, the bounce will hit them and you can go for a confirm, or it or up B. Yeah, and the way Ganon recovers too, he sinks like pretty low. So I feel like if you are gonna commit the bomb off stage, you wanna throw it down past the ledge and exactly. detonate it. Exactly. Oh, but the forward tilt gonna catch the roll there. For Ty gonna not honestly not taking too much damage here but ganondorf can be so scary gets one hit and you could just be suffering the what Yo, a brave nair yeah well, that was bravery that was bravery point blank boomerang into fair i mentioned how that combos almost gets a snipe bomb play yet again but you risk a lot here here's the grab four throw give me the corner give me the stage and Ooh, wow. so close. and just like that ty getting the second stock as well and now uh, Nat Dog looking looking pretty grim here. One stock to three. Okay, gonna get a confirm maybe. The chase down does not connect that forward tilt on that air dodge there. Now Ty still surviving here on these three stocks. The bomb, there's no double jump. There's the snipe and there yeah, is no H, return. There's no, yeah, that's the point of no return. Immediately tie it up, give me the one. Oh, here. Ty now taking game one. Good stuff to make sure that, like, like I mentioned earlier, right, he only used Boomerang when he was that close. 
Right. Right, and you wanted that fair, you wanted that combo. And he understood, hey, I gotta be a little bit more careful. I can't just try to run away with Boomerang that close all the time. He only used it once. I wonder if we're gonna see a change. No. Wow. I wonder if this is uh, Ty's round two. If that's the case. Yeah, I mean, could be here. Uh, but nonetheless, we're going into game two. And that was a uh, pretty solid two stock, or three stock actually, from Ty. Uh, just, we really saw the projectiles being utilized really, really well against Ganondorf offstage. And that's really like, if, if you can abuse Ganon offstage, that's where the character is just not gonna yeah. seem that great. Obviously this character has a bunch of stuff he can do on stage and his recovery is, uh, it's bad, but it's not like Terra bad. Yeah. But, like, it, it's still definitely exploitable. Yeah, for sure. A beat, but gotta be careful. He got lucky. Only the second here to be a couple seconds after the startup. Oh. Dash attack. That's no kills. The tech chase, the no tech there, and you are gonna get sliced for that one. Oh, but the up smash covering so much area and yeah. also covering that ledge roll here. For Nat Dog, really good stuff here. I'm surprised he doesn't go for another up tilt because you can get two up tilts at usually early percents. And you can get up tilt to back air as well. So you can potentially get more percent. I feel like Ty playing pretty, not, not terribly, but you know, a little bit basic. But I respect that you don't want to get too overzealous and give Ganon an opportunity to probably punish you forward smash. Punishes the landing here on Nat Dog. Yeah, that's another thing too. Directional air dodge really helps Ganon's recovery. Um, by a lot because any character that has a very good vertical oh, again and that was unteckable as well and these bombs off stage are so troublesome for Nat Dog to deal with. Cross up and immediately Ty already knows what to do after that. Man, when he hit him with the bomb, did he hit him off the backboard? <laughs> That's what really hurts. Oh, yeah. Wait for the landing. Oh, he's trying to get the dash attack to come in and right now Nat Dog needs to close in this gap. He needs to get up in personal with this link, but it's just really, really hard. Offstage situation there. Oh, doesn't catch it, Ops to go for the ledge trap here. The up smash not gonna connect here for Ty, or for, for Nat Dog. The one thing for Nat Dog that I'm not seeing him go for <coughs> is, if he doesn't go for down air at the ledge, he should go for run out up air, simply because it's really good at catching link. I see Lord Bahamut do that in our matchups specifically. And Lord Bahamut is more of our, you know, high, highest placing Ganon main for sure. Right, ooh, but the second hit on air will connect in that move. So, uh, very lingering move, very powerful move as well. Yeah, really good for catch catching uh, jump options, especially against Link. Is he up, he out of shield. Can Ty close it out? Because the thing about Ganon is if the stocks are even, it's so scary. And just like that, look yeah. at already 60% here. And oh. oh, that was risky. That was risky, my friend. You're risking a lot. Unfortunately, too much time on the ledge. You risk yourself prone to get hit from the ledge. And the forward tilt, good opportunity knowing he might have been going for the flame choke. Yeah, really good stuff there. And you, you saw the flame choke trade there, and of course attack does beat grab. So that attack, I mean, the flame choke is a command grab. So really good stuff there from Ty. Yeah. Yeah, just closing it out really well. Winning out possibly is round two. I'm not sure if that's round two or not. Uh, you also have to excuse me.